already like it, already like it, already like it. So this is my home. I purchased this house a couple years ago and it looked nothing like this. I got my designer, Anissa, to come in and bring it to life. I already like it. I don't know what that style is called, but I've always been a big fan of this, um, like having a balcony in your home, but having the balcony overlook the living space. So there's, so there's like this really high ceiling. So the balcony kind of has a roof, but then the living space is just like open. So it just goes right to the top. I love that. And there's all that natural light coming in. That's fucking cool. I think sometimes you see that layout a lot in like Miami type of mansions and shit. They have that, they have a section where there's like a balcony that kind of looks over a living space and shit, or maybe a dining room. That's a really cool design. I'm, I'm sure it's, it's it's called something, a style, but I love that style. All that natural light coming in, all that space. It looks fucking brilliant. That's really fucking cool. Got it the whole house out completely. Everything in the house I kind of designed to my like, Growing up, I always aspired to have like crazy houses. Of course, I'm from Atlanta and this house is in Atlanta. Of <laughs> Growing up, I always aspired to have crazy houses. Like that's the most niggery thing I've ever heard, isn't it? What's a crazy house is? How many houses do you like? I've never understood people that have that many, like, like how many houses do you need? Like uh, uh, how often are you gonna stay in them? If anything, once I get to a level where I could buy a house, I would want one in the home base, probably one either here or Manchester, and maybe have one abroad. But that's it. I'm not going to want six or four houses. Maybe have one in Europe, maybe in like Berlin, maybe in Madrid, maybe Barcelona, maybe in Paris or something. So like a, a European sort of like hub that I can go to and shit. But that'll be it. It'll be two homes. Or if I stayed in the UK, it'll be one home in the city and one home in the country. But people that have like seven homes, that's a, I guess it's a flex as well. Because if you have seven homes, you have seven people managing your properties, you know, seven different groups of gardeners and property managers. And I don't know, whatever else, you know, whatever. It's a lot. I, I don't know. I wouldn't want to have like that many houses. It's just, it's a bit too much for me personally. Especially the stress of keeping up with the payments. Well, I don't know. It'll be too much. A lot of houses in Atlanta are not like this yet. They are building a lot of new houses. But from where I'm from, this is like a complete zero to a hurry. This is like my bachelor pad. So I have companies, some of the friends, some of my guys. And I also have like little parties. Like, you know, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Instead of renting out of... Oh, it's in Atlanta. Okay, cool. It's not in LA. Okay, it's really nice. That's a really nice crib. I'm not going to lie. It's a very, very nice crib place we just use these house for that so cool what are you guys saying? Space. uh king bayo i like the house it looks too dark i like the white but i just feel like all the black walls and floors would get hot as fuck yeah i think they did that to make them like statement place to make to like highlight sections of the wall because if it was all white it will kind of feel a little bit too sparse you want to kind of break it up and kind of highlight certain bits like the fireplace the tv one side wall it kind of helps break up the space i get why they did it maybe go for a different color maybe not black it's not really a the, the good thing is looking at the picture it's not like a black black it's almost like a charcoal almost like a chalkboard type of color so it's not it doesn't really like you know make it too dark but it, it works I, I, I get what you mean I don't, I don't i personally don't mind it i guess it kind of helps to break up the um the room a little bit it's on the rock sofas. I got on the rock sofas at all my houses. Oh, nice. Kind of like these sofas because they super comfortable and they're kind of low. You can move the middle. Oh, they, it doesn't look comfortable, does it? When he sat down on it, that kind of looked a bit hard. I'm not going to lie. That didn't look comfortable at all. That looked very hard. These sofas because they super comfortable yeah, and they're kind of low. They, they look like they had a little bounce in it. I kind of want my sofa to be a little bit like a, like you sink in it. But I guess people are different. Some people maybe want sofas that are harder but then the more you sit in them, they come a bit softer. I personally would like my surface to be soft so I could just kind of sink into them and kind of chill like that. But still, I, I don't mind it. You can it. move the middle part I love the, I love the up and down. The you can lay on it a bit. I sleep a lot, so <laughs> this is why I catch a lot of Z's at when I'm here. I wanted to keep the house open so if like people- Oh yeah, good, 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 good point, Uche. Hard to sit on it when it's too soft though. Yeah, very, very good point, yeah. And it's also annoying when it's a really soft couch and you're almost having to like, it's like you're in quicksand. You have to like fucking do all this shit to get up and stuff. It's a bit annoying, but when it's a bit hard, you just kind of probably pop up and shit. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get you. I get you. I get you. It's a good point. And down, living room, showing pool, in the pool, wherever. Everybody still feel together. 
Originally, this whole area. <laughs> Asada disease. AZ sinks in every couch he sits on, so it's not a good sign. <laughs> yeah, man. Wide Batty Aggie, innit? That's what they call me. Wide Batty Aggie. Wide Batty Aggie. Dee, dee. And so it comes to sit on a chair. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> I'm backing up, bro. Move, move, move. Why that? Wide, ba wide Batty Aggie about to sit down and destroy your couch. That IKEA couch stands no chance when I enter the room. <laughs> Area was outside. The the wall maybe stopped from right here. So I wanted them to open this up and expand it a little more. If I was being a little bit picky, if it was me and I had that games room, I don't know. It'd be a bit warm. I'd maybe want the the windows to wrap around so have no, no split there with the wall. I don't know if I'd put a, I don't know if I put a snooker table there either. To be fair, maybe it would be another living space. I don't know. More, put my nice pool table right here. Nice little pieces of art. I love this room too because all the doors open all the way up, so it give me the whole little outside feel. A lot of gambling goes on on this table. Mm. Pool and a lot of other things. All right, now we're in the kitchen. I love the double island setup because of nine or ten of us. Ooh, we just see yeah, the I'm not gonna almost... lie. I'm not gonna lie. I do like the double island setup too. I'm not gonna lie. That sounds like a jam. I'd probably, I'd probably be spending most of my time on there with my phone in my hand, chilling, playing tunes, relaxing, smoking a little doobie, eating some crisps, and just chatting shit. That's a, that's a cool little spot to hang out. In. I'm not gonna lie. Drinking, eating. I got that's a really cool tops. spot. I like the, the black vibe versus like the mm. traditional granite or like marble. Mm. I wanted to go like black because we do use it a lot and I don't want to like stain it as much as possible. Yeah, like this is my bachelor pad, so I don't cook here. I have a chef to come here and cook for us. <laughs> Big up Super Jello. Let's work on the first island, B. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Big up Super Jello, very true. Let's work on the first island. <laughs> <laughs> Let's focus on getting a house with a kitchen that isn't joined to your living room. <laughs> Let's focus on getting an apartment where you can't hear your neighbor flushing their toilet <laughs> through the walls. Oh, yeah, big up Super Jello. <laughs> but sometimes when. I don't have a chef. My kids like want me to cook. Just something cool for us to do. Last thing I cooked for my kids was maybe like tacos last Tuesday, something like that. If I cook, it's gonna be like some cool, like some for them. They could kind of help me out a little bit. So I have a few art pieces. Starting to get into it. This is a piece from a Black Atlanta artist, Horace Impo Tip. Kind of just give me the vibe of a little young black boy, but in his eyes, a dream for the stars. My favorite part of the kitchen would have to be like the na na. Windows, it open all the way up. Ooh, it kind of gives you the whole. That's lovely. Inside, outside I like family. that. Yeah, bro, I like that. And you having like a pool party? Oh, that's fucking lovely. That reminds me of some restaurant I visited in Bali back in the day. Yeah, that reminds me of fucking Bali. I went to this amazing fucking restaurant in Bali that had a view like that. It kind of overlooked all the forests and shit. You saw the trees and shit. And you're eating your fucking overpriced fucking avocado toast. Oh, that looks fucking good. That looks really fucking good. There are people outside. They don't have to track water in the house and stuff. They can come here and get their food from the chef. Something to drink, whatever may have it. These are my panel refrigerators to match all my cabinets and whatnot. Don't really have a lot of stuff in here because we hardly ever hear. Water, a little Gatorade, just the minor stuff. No. I'm big on water, I drink a lot of water. Lately I've been I'm in my mind, oh, oh, in the oh, crib, so I haven't by been the way, here. The last I think time I was here was for- Am I the only person that, I don't, I don't know. I quite like having like a standalone fridge. Maybe buy one of those really big, gaudy, sort of like Jetsons inspired fridges, right? Like opens up. But I don't like that hidden, that version where it's like, it's hit, it looks like it's a cabinet, but you open it, it's a fridge. I want it to look like a fridge, you know what I mean? I want my fridge to like stand there. But maybe, that, maybe that's the English and British in me, because most homes in England have that, even mansions, they'll have like a standalone fridge. They won't be, maybe the American style, you guys like to kind of blend it all in. 
So it all looks like cabinets, but then you open one, it's a fridge. You open one, it's a fucking, you know, sink thing and whatever it may be. But I want my fridge to look like stand on its own, you know, like so you can clearly see that's a fucking fridge. I don't really like the, you know, is it? That's what it's good. Big up, uh, yeah, hideaway fridge. Yeah, I don't really like the hideaway, like that kind of fridge. I don't personally like that personally. I want to see it. I want to see the fucking fridge. So if you ask me, hey, where's the fridge? It's there. You know what I mean? My son is kindergarten graduation. He had a party with 30, 40 kids, and my family came over. I like to have parties here. This is the dining room, which is not for dining, because I love these chairs so much, and I don't want people to get comfortable just getting this dirty sofa. Now, this is just... Yeah, I don't I don't like this sort of stuff. My mom has this sort of stuff as well. My mom likes this sort of stuff as well. I don't I, I like everything in my house to be functional. I wouldn't want to have a dining room that you couldn't dine in or they wouldn't let people sit on because the chairs are really nice and fancy. It's something it doesn't make any sense. Don't get me wrong. I get why that table's beautiful, so are the chairs. I understand why he doesn't want to let people sit on them, but I'd want everything in my house to be functional. If it's a dining room, you can sit on it, you can cut up lines on it, you can shit on it, you can do whatever you want on there. But it's not gonna. I'm just gonna. I don't want to. I don't want to have like a showroom, you know, in my house. I want everything to kind of be, you know, useful. It's a statement piece. I have an Italian imported marble table Ooh. from the Vitality collection, and my designer actually came up with that. She designed this table one on one for me, so Ooh. you won't see this table nowhere else. That's fucking nice. And she called it the Vitality because it looked like it has veins, like a human heart almost. And because they had to make the table, it took no more off a long time. I almost pulled the plug on the table and just got me a new table. But once it arrived, it was worth the wait, definitely. Wow. I got the lights put in on the floor to like resemble a rug. Oh, and right really here we cool. have that's the really cool. mirror panels from That's London. really cool, the lights Each are cool. Each one was hand placed. I love this little setup. That's fucking cool. The lights on the bottom are really cool, I like that. This is a little chill area. Mama chair, I have a few of these. I had a smaller one for my kids too. This is one of the places I can sit down and talk yeah, on the phone. I'm not mad Nobody at that. don't sit over here but me. I ain't mad at that. And this is my primary wing. Mm. The glass doors on the closet. My two sons, Loyal and Jason. Nice. This is like an overflow closet. It's the summertime right now. These are like winter clothes, pants. And whenever I run out of space in one of the other cribs or something, I just bring my overflow stuff here. I have a lot of significant pieces in here, I'm sure. This right here is actually an outfit that I wore on tour every night, my last tour. So eventually I'll frame this up and hang it. A couple jerseys from different little states I go to to perform and they give me jerseys. I like this closet set up though. I don't wear nothing in here. It looks great though. Sneak closet. And a lot of these I, I do. I'm I'm starting to not like this version of like displaying your sneakers where you sort of make it look like a shop. I kind of it's a bit cringy, but I kind of would want to have my shoes set up in boxes like OG sneakerheads back in the day. I swear to God, maybe now I'm getting back into it, but I don't really like the whole like shelving with the LED spotlights and shit, and you know displaying your shoes like they're works of art. It's like bro, they're just shoes. I mean, I just, I don't know. There's a bit too, and and it, and, and if I'm not mistaken, he's, I think he's got them arranged by color as well. So they've all been arranged by color and everything. So it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. But I, I think if it was me, I'd, I'd actually go back to how I used to do it and have my fucking shoes stacked up in boxes, which I don't do anymore. Because at the moment when I purchase shoes, I usually just chuck the boxes away because I usually wear all my shit into the ground. But I think nowadays, I think I'm kind of reverting back to that thing. So you know, it's it's well it's well done, but I think it's a little bit too much for me. Shoes are shoes that I'm probably not gonna wear again. Well, I will wear these. Pair of Yeezys. Ooh, not the only, but one of the red cool October. pieces nice. in here. I used to bring my clothes when I come here to the point where the shoes are almost like art color coordinated. Mm. Just some little eye candy for when you walk in the bedroom. No. This is an infinity couch, which is so soft, feels like a cloud. That lighting, you can lay out on it, you know? Really cool. cool little vibe. In this area, I really love the lighting yeah, here. Yeah, that, that lighting is fucking brilliant. That's really fucking cool. Don't get me wrong. It's giving fucking... It's giving hotel lobby, I know, but it is pretty cool, you know? And I think, I don't know, but a lot of dudes nowadays seem to like to, you know, furnish their house or their homes or design them to look like hotels. I don't know why that's the case. That's, that's It's become like a bit of a trend. Everyone kind of wants that. Loads of mirrors, loads of gold, loads of gaudy LED things, right? I, I don't know. Guys seem to like to make their houses look like hotels, but that particular light fixture is really, really cool. I have to change sheer walls. 
A lot of stuff is like kind of art to me versus useful. Yeah, exactly, Uche, exactly. Look at that, Uche. Look, that that looks like a hotel. <laughs> that looks like the checking desk is on the right hand side. <laughs> that looks like a hotel you'd see anywhere in the world. <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, that angle is not the best. That angle does not the best at all. That is definitely giving hotel or like co working space reception. You know. Like a uh, WeWork, when WeWork was popping off, that looks like fucking WeWork, you know? That fucking looks like a WeWork reception area. And this is one of those places that when I walk in, it just looks super sexy to me. And this is where the magic happens at. I'm not here a lot, so a lot of magic don't happen in here. Fireplace, nice TV. <laughs> I like the wall fixture, and I also love the ceiling. Kind of like a piece of jewelry imported from Italy. Nice, nice little swing. You know? Hey, little sex swing, yeah? Freaky ass little baby. Freak ass little baby's got a little sex swing in the corner of the room. I feel him. Sometimes when you got a goon, you got you want a little swing as well. You want to get a little, you want to get a little fucking, you know, you want to get a little bit of motion. You know me? You want to rock on the X Y axis? You feel me? <laughs> Ceiling joint. I actually sit here a lot though. This is like a cool little chill spot to me. Yeah, I like the move. I, I don't like is. to sit still. So even when I'm sitting Ooh. down, I'm still moving. Little ba little baby's definitely a little freaky boy in it. Definitely a freaky ball. A little chill spot to me. Definitely a freaky ball. Look how he's got his hands in the air. Yo, little baby's a freaky ball. You know he's got his legs up in, isn't it? You know he, that's the position he, he locked into straight away without even thinking. You know he has his legs up in the air. <laughs> Some fucking starlets uh, stripper down on the floor going fucking crazy. Look at how he's got his hands in the air. Little baby's a freaky ball. Freaky, freaky, freaky ball, huh? I like to move, I don't like to sit still. So even when I'm sitting down, I'm still moving. Magic can also happen right there too. Yeah, I bet it can. I bet it can, bro. I bet it can. This is my bathroom, which I think personally is one of the Ooh. most stunning. Again, it's giving hotel. I'm not gonna lie, it's giving hotel, but it does look fucking beautiful. Parts of the house. That bathtub Everything's is so super nice. clean, like a nice hanging sink. I got a Slits in the marble for the water to go down. Keep a double sink, you know. It's out my way, I'm out your way type of thing. My tub, also imported from Italy. Weighs a couple tons. We actually had to get it lifted through the window for it to be able to go so in here. So nice. Amazing tub. I haven't took a bath in here yet. One day I will though. And this is my shower, where I spend most of the time, believe it or not. The shower is where I can get a peace of mind, get my thoughts together. Think about how I'm gonna knock all this money off, you know? Oh, I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. I wonder, you know, I'm too, I'm, I, I'm on my, I'm on my journey. I'm on my wealth creation journey. But what would the two different levers would be for in the shower? Would would one be for hot and one be for cold? I'll, I'll use uh, most of the pores. Are most of the pores just having one tap like I have? Is that what it is? Is one hot and what for cold? That's fucking crazy. I'm only used to having one multi-directional tap. <laughs> Left for hot, right for cold. But I guess when you're rich, you have like two different ones for to control two different fucking temperatures. That's fucking great. I love that. Or maybe two different modes on the shower head. I don't know. Either way, it's fucking cool. So I could easily spend an hour in the shower. Nice shower, big enough, very relaxing. I love the window vibe, little LED vibe. Everything's super cozy in here. And then last but not least, I got the fireplace in the bathroom. I'm usually super cold when I get out. When I first wake up in the morning, I'm usually super cold. So I can come right here and check my messages or whatnot. I love this bathroom. I get a lot of inspiration from the bathroom and the houses. Yeah, I got agree with him. I get inspiration from my bathroom too. I spend. I spend too much time in the bathroom, whether I'm fucking always showering, covering myself in fucking, you know, cremes and South, you know, South fucking Korean fucking ointments to make my skin bouncy and all this type of shit. I spend a lot of time in there. I love, I love a good think in the fucking toilet. I love a good think in the toilet. And can you imagine the type of thinking you'd be doing that to a toilet, bro? You could be doing cartwheels in there, bro. Backflips in there, bro. Being an artist and going to different places, I just stayed in a lot of hotels, a lot of Airbnbs. Then when I come home, I don't got that same feeling. So I wanted to have that same feeling when I go to the nicest places in the world and how they bathrooms and how they houses look. Hold on, hold on. Did he, ha did he have a painting on the side of the wall that said excellence? The definition of excellence. That's so corny. 
That's like a modern day version of like live, laugh, love, isn't it? Then when I come home, I don't got that same feeling. So I wanted to. Yeah, look, he's got, he's got the dictionary definition of excellence <laughs> hung up in a frame on the side. <laughs> oh, come on, little baby. That's kind of cringe. What the fuck is that, man? Come on. Have that same feeling when I go to the nicest places in the world and how they bathrooms and how they houses look. I wanted to, you know, pick it out there a little bit. Ooh, look at the, look at the smoothie room. This is my room. theater room. Ooh, I want it to be different from other theaters. Look at the, These ooh, little cubbies you can have your those own. Those chairs are so nice. Personal space. You actually can, two people can fit yeah, on here. That might be my favorite. Those might be my favorite seats in his house. Look at those. Those are so cool. And it's got the little place where you can put your feet up as well. Oh, that is really nice. Those chairs are fucking cool. I love those chairs. Those are really fucking cool. Yeah, I'm all for those chairs. I love those chairs. We got chairs. you a little date. I got y'all a little movie night. Y'all could be separate or y'all could be together. They also each have a little table, you know, like the movie theater. Popcorn machines and all that type of stuff in here. Sometimes I bring my portable studio where I could just like set it up right here. Just wrap inside of here. I got these like movie script posters all around the room, but this one is the most significant to me. This is the documentary of my life called Untrapped. It's actually on Amazon Prime and you can go and see it. But that's the vibe of it when you come in, move it the air. Nice. Now playing. I don't we got a that. couple more juice boys in this uh, scarf face, you know. Got a little wet bar. I love candy. I don't like how they done them though with the lights in the back. You just 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 hang the movie posters in the frame by themselves. Why are they like I, I guess they like printed on some like translucent screen with the light in the back, it kind of washes it out. It doesn't, not necessary. I just would have had the posters just in a frame by themselves, you know? We don't need to have that effect. It kind of makes them look a bit weird. But I guess maybe it doubles up as a, as a light source. If you don't want the room to be completely dark, you can turn on those lights to kind of give it a little bit of a warm sort of like glow, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I'm always stock full of candy everywhere. Stock, cool. stock full of candy, free jars. Cool. <laughs> nice little vibe. Oh, the pool is nice. Oh, a little jacuzzi there as well. This is my backyard. Nah, the backyard is banging. The backyard is really fucking nice. The backyard might actually be better than the entire house. I'm not going to lie. The backyard looks like a fucking jam. All right. My kids love swimming. They spend most of their time in the pool. Yeah, Maybe I'll go for a swim nice. today when I get my kids. Nice jacuzzi, nice seeing areas. I'm yeah, outside a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. I do a lot of recreational things yeah. outside. The outside is definitely this better than the This is my basketball inside. court. You spend yeah. a lot of time on a basketball court. Good exercise, little workouts. A lot of money's been made here. Nice. And lost. People don't think I can play basketball, but I actually ain't that bad. And I'll be having a lot of kids, my little. <laughs> he definitely didn't get that one, did he? The camera didn't even go to the fucking net. That's hilarious. A nephew, them, they little basketball cousins and stuff. So I wanted like, Three little hoops where everybody can use the whole That's court so and cool, use man. different like courts that. or whatnot. This playground actually come from one of my old houses. In the future, I think I'll build me a gazebo over here or something. And this is another part Ooh. of the backyard. Of course, if you're gonna have a bachelor so pad, you gotta have a grill. The so chef comes good. and get on the grill. This is actually more of my outdoor kitchen, I like to call yeah, it. Yeah. The stove outside, dining table. I love this area. Nigga has two kitchens, two islands. Fuck. Yeah. One of the only places that you're gonna get shade in the backyard for real. So I definitely like this area. Take you a nap. The mosquitoes don't kill you. And it's definitely like a center space for me. I could watch the kids while they're in the pool. Chefs in there, people need me. I could kind of sit right here. This is like a midpoint for me outside. Yeah, I fuck with it. Nice home. He's got a very nice crib. The backyard is definitely my favorite area. Um, some of the furnishings are a little bit hotel-y, but Everyone seems to like that sort of trend, so it kind of is what it is. I love that big open space in the living room that he's got with the balcony that kind of overlooks it. It kind of makes the space look really big and gives it a lot of room and loads of natural light coming in and shit. Um, the two kitchen islands, fucking genius. I love that idea. Um, great place to hang out as well. And yeah, really good, good crib. Love his crib, man. Love little baby's crib. Love little baby's crib.